Hey there, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're going to be looking at Nexus and a couple of different tools to get this cool ripping technique. First of all, we're going to be using NX Infectio, we're spreading Infectio between particles to give this kind of growth effect. And then we'll be using NX Constraints to get those particles to be kind of tied together with these springy, stretchy constraints, which will eventually rip and be blown away by a wind and a turbulence. It's a really cool look, so let's get started and we'll jump into cinema. Here's our scene then with our Insidium Balloon Dog. It's got a collider tag on it and if we go forward a frame you can see we're birthing particles on the surface. Let's just make that Balloon Dog invisible. So there we've got these black and white particles. If we go to the Emitter Object tab, we're emitting from the dog emit from polygon area in the emission tab we're shooting a random shot of 40,000 particles two centimeter radius with no speed we got this black and white colors by going to the display tab and in the color mode we're using a shader and in the shader look if we click on here we've just created this very quick gaseous shader to give us these black and white colors and the reason we've done that is we're going to be using infectio which will infect our particles and spread that disease and the rate of that spread will be dependent on their color value so let's go to nexus and we'll bring in an nx infectio modifier let's go to the object tab this requires a seed object to infect the initial particles. So let's go to add seed object, which gives us this seed object, this uh, spherical volume look. So let's just bring that up. And what we want to do is maybe have that uh, near the belly of the dog. And these particles are going to get infected and then they'll spread. So if we hit play, you can see we've got some infection going on. Let's just pull back so we can see that. So the orange particles are the infected, the blue are the incubating the infection, and that spreads. And the spread, the speed of the spread is dictated by the color value. White particles, the disease will spread more quickly. And that's looking pretty cool. So now we've got this pretty cool organic growth look of our particles, but all that's happening is they're changing color. So instead of them changing color, let's go to our Annex Infectio. Um, what we're able to do is, instead of changing their color, we can get them to change their groups, and then we can use that to drive effects, which is what we're going to do here. So look, the color mode is set to fit's value, but if we change this to use groups, we can now create an incubating and an infected group. So let's add a group for the incubating group, and here it is up here, group one. Let's just pop that down into our groups, back to Infectio, and here, infected group, let's add it. That's going to be called group two. Let's pop it in our groups. Back to Infectio. So now this is going to look no different, but the color change is being driven because they're actually getting put into two new groups. One for infected, one for incubating. Now that we know this is happening, in fact, let's just leave it. We'll leave, we'll not use these colors eventually, but for now, let's just leave it so we can see what's going on. So what we want to do is start moving these particles. Let's go to Nexus and bring in an NX Wind. Here's our wind modifier. Let's hit R, let's rotate it around so they're kind of blowing in that direction, maybe up a little bit. Now, if we hit play, every particle is going to start blowing, which is not what we want. We only want to blow the infected ones as they become infected. So let's go to the NX wind, groups affected, and drag in particle group two, the infected ones. Hit play, and all the other ones will remain static, and only the ones that have become infected will be blown by the wind. Very cool. Let's do the same with the turbulence modifier, NX turbulence, groups affected, group two. And in the object tab, we'll use a Voronoise, maybe put the strength up to seven. So now we've got wind and turbulence affecting only those infected particles. We can start making this feel more dynamic by um, getting these particles to interact with each other and we can do that by creating some springs using constraints So let's go to Nexus and we'll bring in a NX constraints We're going to use a not a birth constraint a distance constraint and this is saying let's put this on six This is saying that any one particle can connect with a spring to up to six others as long as they are within 40 centimeters radius and we can reduce that stiffness. 
and we only want these to affect um, particle group 2, our infected ones. So now all of those infected ones, they get blown by the wind and by the turbulence, but they are connected to each other with a spring. And we're going to start getting this really cool kind of particle peeling look as they get pulled away. That's looking pretty good. Now let's go to our NX constraint. And what we can do is set some breaking. So actually some of these will snap. So let's do that by in the break, put it on when they stretch to 300% of their initial connection length, they will snap and break away. So now, uh, hopefully with that uh, amount with 300% break, we'll get some chunks stretching and breaking off. Look, yeah, look, we've got a chunk broken off there. This one's broken off. Excellent. So now we've got that, let's go to our NX Infectio and say by default the infected lifespan is 300. Let's say they die after 150 frames of being infected. So then they'll start dying. And we could also, once we've gone through this one animation, we could stop this colour change. So we only were viewing the colour change so we could see how this really nice disease spread was happening over our model. Yeah, look, they're dying out now. That's looking good. But now we know that we can get rid of the color change. So let's go to NX Infectio and in the look group color change, we can just put it to no color changes and we're not going to get any color changes. Let's make our balloon dog visible again. And now you'll see that we're getting our particles when they become infected, they are connecting with those springs. They're interacting and not intersecting our model because we've got a collider tag and we're getting this really cool particle peel effect as that infection spreads and grows up our model.